Hello LEGO fans, adult fan of LEGO UK here and welcome to this 2014 LEGO Star Wars set review. So this is the V-Wing Starfighter set 75039, this is for ages 7 to 12. Comes with a piece count of 201 um, and in the UK retails for £19.99 um, from the LEGO store. So let's have a quick look at the box. Okay, just zoom out so you can see this. There we go. So there we can see the details there. There's your two minifigures that come with the set, the V-Wing pilot and the Astromech droid. You can see the actual V-Wing there. And there's obviously Darth Vader, which is for the 2014 Star Wars wave of sets. On the rear of the box, just some of the features. This comes with a new um, spring-loaded shooter missiles, which I'll show you shortly. Okay. Now get a closer look at those minifigures on the box. Okay, so that's our box done. So let's take a closer look at the set itself. <clears throat> okay, and there she is. Okay, guys, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to give you a closer look of the V Wing Starfighter. Okay, so let's give you a spin around now of the Starfighter. You can see there the front shot. Spinning that round. Like so, okay, we see the rear shot. Finally, back round to the side there. So, let's zoom in for a closer look at this set. Okay, let's try and get some light in here. So, first of all, we can see there the cockpit, and we can see the V-wing pilot inside the cockpit there. So the cockpit obviously opens up. You can see him sat in there. He's currently still holding his blaster pistol there. We're going to have a close look at him in a second. Now, the one thing there are a lot of stickers on this set, so literally everywhere you see something that is printed, it is a sticker. So we've got a sticker in there. This is a sticker here. Another sticker there. Sticker there. Sticker on that side, that's a sticker, uh, sticker on the top there, sticker here on the side in here, uh, sticker there, I think that's all the stickers but for a set this size there are a lot of stickers on it. I'm not a fan of stickers personally, I uh, much more prefer obviously the printed bricks but I obviously understand they do this to keep the cost down um, so we can't have it always. So, some of the features. So first off here, the actual wings, that's down in landing mode there presently. So, this can, these turn like that, so now they are in flight mode, you can see there. So the way that works, well two ways to be honest, you can either simply grab hold of them and move them like that, or well, there is actually a mechanism can see hopefully here in the rear just trying to get that focused in there yeah this little wheel here if we move that like so you can see that does obviously move the wings from the landing mode to the flight mode and obviously on the side there we have some um, missiles these ones don't shoot out and they're just for display purposes. Um, closer look there, that rear engine exhaust detail here. You can see these green, end of these green pieces here and here. Be very careful with these because these are the new spring loaded missiles, which I'll show you in a second. Um, so, just underneath is the kind of the rear um, part to put the set on um, to help it when it's 
landed and um, we have some landing gear here at the front this one does go up like so and can come back down um, at the top is where our droid sits um, and we have these pieces here which do move out like so now the actual droid is a bit of a, an illusion um, that's the droid head on there and you can see it spinning because it is literally just his head so I'll show you there's his body Let me get that in um, so we have to take the head off his body and stick it onto this piece here I'll try and remove this there we go so there we can see the head piece or the top piece to the droid and you can see there it just simply sits on this I understand why they've done it it's for room purposes obviously you can't fit a full-sized minifigure droid in there there's just not simply not enough room um, so it is again it's quite good that they've done this because it does obviously give the illusion that the droid is there um, in the rear of the wing, V wing um, starfighter so the final kind of feature I want to show you on this before we do um, get on with the minifigure review are these new missiles. I can see them underneath there. Again, get this a focus. So we can see the front of the missiles here and the rear of the missiles here. And it's a spring loaded mechanism. So this brick here the light bluish grey top and the dark bluish grey top has a spring inside that as a spring mechanism so to make these fire and they do come out very fast we just simply just push this up or down I can't remember now there we go hopefully you saw that come out then you certainly would have heard it um, let's try and do it from here so hopefully you will see it come out so I'm just going to fire that now and that's shot out they do come out very fast so does need to come with a bit of a warning um, if you've got young kids playing with these be very careful they're not firing these at each other's faces because if this gets you in the eye i suspect it will hurt um, so that's the main the review of the main set so we'll just have a closer look now at the minifigures right before we get into those minifigures i just wanted to show you actually putting these spring loaded missiles back in because they are quite fiddly particularly on this set focused so there's the missile, long green missile. So to put it back in, hopefully there you can see the end of that spring-loaded brick there. And we've got to put that back in. It can be very fiddly because you've got to get it in the right way, the exact right way. There's a groove in the brick. Anyway, I'm sure you should hear this click. Again, let's get this to focus. You should hear this click. There we go, so that's slotted back into place. Um, sorry, also the other thing to quickly show you on this, these here, obviously this is the part that does um, turn around for the flight mode and landing mode, but these can adjust as well. You can put these out like so if you wanted to. Fully adjustable. Okay, like that. Um, but they are designed to go in at an angle, obviously, like so. Okay, so let's look at those minifigures. Okay, so first up we have our V-Wing pilot. See him there? He's got the blaster pistol, which you would have already seen when he was sat in his cockpit. So let's just remove that from his hand. Okay. Right, you can see there the front torso printing. light bluish grey legs and arms with the white gloves on see the rear torso printing okay then on his helmet the printing on his helmet some good detailing nice printing some nice colors on there okay so if you take him well, you can see in there he's he's got this see his face under there kind of got these black goggles on you'll see that now and I'm with the head uh, sorry the helmet he actually has a white head and you can see that black printing detail to again 
kind of fit in with the helmet detail, so the goggles. It's only a single sided, but quite unusual to have a white head um, like that. But I think he does look does look pretty cool. I'm quite pleased with that minifigure. So that's our first minifigure. Okay, next up our final minifigure. There's only two of them. So we have the V-Wing pilot I showed you just. So this is the Astromech droid. Uh, I think we all know what these droids look like by now. But this one is simply called the Astromech droid. So you see obviously the print in detail on the main body and the top piece there. Okay, and like I said, when he goes inside the um, spaceship itself, inside the the um, V-wing starfighter, we have to take his head off from the body, and then that just simply um, slots onto that plate, the circular plate piece. Okay, so that's our two minifigures. Okay, I just want to share with you the spare pieces. Weren't that many, so. And get that in there, those three pieces. As we can see there, so let's see stud piece and that which I just dropped, so that's gone. There. And finally you get a spare missile, so it comes with three, so two actually go into the V-wing itself, and then there's a spare third one. I suspect the reason they've done that is they're expecting us to lose lots of these, which um, I think is probably true. So that's the spare pieces. Okay, so there we go. That's my review of this set finished. 75039, the V-Wing Starfighter. Like I said, this is from the uh, Winter 2014 LEGO Star Wars Wave. Um, so looking forward to getting all these sets and building all of them. I think I've got three of them so far. Um, so look over my other ones and I'll be getting the other sets over the coming days, stroke weeks as well. So I hope to have all these sets up um, as soon as possible for you all to see. So hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please go ahead, give it a thumbs up. Please provide any feedback down in the comments section. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel. And as always, feel free to share my videos. And I look forward to seeing you all in the next video. Cheers.